mini skirt on, dip my body in glitter. Pop, pop, form sneakers, all the boys want a picture. Two, two, four cars, I make rich look richer. Save your breath, baby, I'm not going home with y'all. Hello, hello, hello. You're now tuned in to the A Little Bit A Lot podcast. I'm your host, Kristen, and I have a very special guest, my boyfriend, Juwan. What's going on? Hey, guys. We're back again. Another week. And this week is super special because it's my first Halloween extravaganza. Okay, we are here. We're ready to have fun. Last weekend we had a blast. We did a haunted hayride for the first time. That was Lit. super fun. We went with Juan's sister, my sister, and it was lit. I mean, we had like fresh corn. They had like corn fields there, and we had a fresh corn, nachos. Juan had an Italian sausage. Um, it was great. So Paul's. Oh, <laughs> what? Paul's. Paul's. What do you mean by that? Pause or Paul? I don't know. No, Paul's. Like, like, hold on. Like, oh, yeah, Paul. I, I had a sausage meat. You feel me? It was. I cut it up. A hot dog. Okay. Anyways. I cut it up. So, yeah, it was great. Um, his sister had a Mexican street corn. That was fun. Um, tried a little bit of that. And, yeah, so I just really wanted to give, like, for the YouTube watchers, like, a fun little Halloween moment. I've always wanted to do this whenever I have, like, whenever I see podcasts that I'm a fan of, whenever they, like, dress up for Halloween it's super fun and in case you guys are wondering what we are well Juwan I think it's more obvious he's Woody from Toy Story I mean look at the get up he really truly looks like Woody <laughs> I know I'm missing the badge Amazon, oh. Amazon. yeah he's you, missing you know, the badge you know when it take too long you know yeah but <laughs> Juwan's got on for the people who are just um listening He's got on the cowboy hat. He's got on the, uh, what is it? Like the, the, the little vest. The vest, yep. A yellow shirt on and then a handkerchief moment around the neck. And I am Rosalie from Twilight. If you guys have, you know, listened to the podcast before, um, I mentioned that I'm a big Twilight fan. I mean, in the background, I've got Welcome, the City of Forks welcomes you. Uh, so we're lit. I've always oh. wanted to do. I didn't know that was from Twilight. Yeah, it's a uh, the sign when Bella pulls into Forks when Charlie picks her up. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so we got Twilight like in the set. You know what I mean. So it was only right that I be like Rosalie. And if you guys don't know. It's from the first movie when all the vampires are playing baseball. Rosalie's got like the long sleeve gray uh, thermal on with the navy vest. She's got the blonde hair and the baseball hat that won't stay down. So if it looks like I've got a long head, um, just know that the cap keeps rising. But whatever. So yes. And... Now that we've, you know, gone over our costumes, so that way you guys know, I also want to remind you guys at the top of the episode, you already know to like this video, okay? We need more likes over on YouTube. Like this video if you like the video. For real. <laughs> like, it only makes sense. Like, if you <laughs> like it to let me know you like it, press that thumbs up. <laughs> and also to let me know if you're feeling the content, subscribe. Okay, I'm on the road to my first 100 subscribers. We're trying to really just hit the first 50. Really? So if you want to support, go ahead and subscribe to the A Little Bit A Lot podcast YouTube channel. Uh, make sure that you comment to let me know if you're feeling our costumes and what you think of the episode at the end. And if you're listening on Spotify, I appreciate it. Make sure you follow me on Spotify and you rate the podcast five stars. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, make sure you go ahead and rate me five stars and leave a review to let me know what you're thinking about the show. 
So today's episode, we thought that it would be a good idea to go into some spooky stories. I found a couple of spooky stories. We're going to read them and we're going to react to them. And let's see, like, are these people being haunted? What goes on during the spooky season that people have to share? I am a big scary cat. Um, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was even terrified to go on the haunted hayride. And then we saw literal children being like, yay. And I'm like, maybe I don't really have anything to be worried about, you know? So Juwan was just like, I think you're fine. There's literally children here. There's literally people who are um, disabled, who are able to figure this out and get on. So it's like, you can do it too. Um, But when it comes to these scary stories, it gets a little for me like I, I don't know but let's just go straight into it's it like you there yeah i almost just feel like i'm kind of there and it just gets a little triggering for me Aww. and then i'm like what if i'm actually in danger no right <laughs> there's a no sheriff in town <laughs> <laughs> you got a friend in me okay, okay great i've got a sheriff right here yeah. ready <laughs> to come to my rescue <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babes. Okay. So the first story that I got was from the Paranormal Reddit. This was submitted by Fuzzy Ranker. And this is an experience that they had. And it says, Hi, y'all. I was just listening to the Monsters Among Us podcast and it triggered a memory of something that I hadn't thought of in years and I wanted to share it. I've never listened to that podcast. I'll have to check it out. Um, Wait, he said, This really happened? Yes, this is like somebody, like people's real experiences that they submit to the paranormal Reddit. So whether it was real or not, I don't know what they say is real. This person says they actually experienced this five days ago. Five days ago? Yeah. Oh man, let's go. <laughs> That's crazy. There's I'm, one. I'm thinking. <laughs> no. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> this is literally submitted from a person who had... Who says they had a paranormal experience? I thought it was like, remember when? Like six, no. six seven, seven years ago or something like This person says they experienced this five, five days ago. Yes. And they got to talk about it. Right. All right, let's hear it. Okay, so this person said this was probably 15 years ago. Oh, we shared it five days ago, but it says it happened 15 years ago. See, yeah, okay, now now this sound more believable. Okay, yeah. He said this was probably 15 years ago. I was in my early 20s. It was about 9.30 p.m. And then my girlfriend and I were driving around town after seeing a movie, trying to find a restaurant that was still open and not having any luck, as mostly they all closed at 9 p.m. We were trying to get to the end of Main Street and about to give up and go to McDonald's, which yes, pause. <laughs> I was gonna say yes, pause. Bye. Having a McChicken after a movie doesn't sound bad to me. What do you mean give up and go to McDonald's? I should have been the first. <laughs> now you there? See now, now you find it like if I was there, we would already. Oh my god! <laughs> exactly. I would have been like, "Hi, see me, please." Um, that movie took everything out of me. But yeah, so they said they're about to give up and go to a McDonald's when they drove past an old restaurant that we thought had been closed for years. Not only did it seem to be open, but it seemed to be buzzing. It was brightly lit and we could see through the front windows and lots of people were sitting at tables and staff was walking around. So thinking that, thinking this was just what we were looking for, I pulled my car into the car park and parked at the side of the building. We got out walked to the front of the restaurant and nothing just a dark silent closed building with boarded up walls and it still remains today i have no explanation for it there were two of us who saw it appearing to be open and full of people so i know i wasn't just seeing things the building itself is very old from the early 1800s and originally was used as a mill and then a hospital i've never personally heard about any weird happenings in it though when it was a restaurant it was called fisher's ghost restaurant named after a famous murder from 200 years ago and the subsequent local ghost story that happened right next to the site that it's on and the land it's on was originally owned by a man who was murdered. Anyway, that's just my creepy little experience with the unexplained. And they also added a picture of the restaurant as it appears today, boarded up. Hmm. That's a crazy experience. I don't even know what, and the the title of this says Time Slip or Haunted Restaurant. Hmm. What some of the comments say? Some of the comments are saying, what kind of clothes were the people in that restaurant wearing? Modern, as in per the 
fashion of the time you witnessed this or older? Did you get a glimpse of hairstyles? These things are usually dead giveaway of time periods across cultures. And then basically the person was just like, I didn't really get a good look. Um, I don't even know. I, I personally don't know how I feel if me and you went through this. If we pulled up to a literal restaurant and we're like, all right, babes, <laughs> let's go in. This seems good. This seems good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we think, we thought, like, I think I thought this was closed, right? Mm-hmm. And then you literally get out, park, and you're like, ooh. And it's suddenly, like, right back to normal. That's scary. What are your thoughts on this, this story? Man, that's, this story reminds me of, of Fuddruckers. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, because it seemed like that was such a century ago but it's like but when you go in there or when you did go in there it's like everything just stop it's like stand still in time and dirty and dirty like but it's like it's foot records like that remind me of that place honestly i want to say like oh you're crazy but i kind of i don't know it's like i know it's always my man my man my man with me but i kind of agree with your point with like Fuddruckers, at least the location that we had did feel notoriously like every time we went in there, time stopped. Yeah, like every the, time me and you ate in there, and then I think about it, it did feel like it was like a time stop. Moment. Like it was just us in there, like Literally. NPCs everywhere. Like, oh my god, right? <laughs> no, I think about it. Everyone was kind of giving NPC yes. vibes. At Fud Records. And that Fud Records isn't open anymore. It's not. Now I'm th- speaking of the story, I'm going to have to drive up and see what the <laughs> frick is good just to make sure for double Right. You might get out the car and be like, like were oh. we in a time slip? Did we really eat at Fud Records? Were we even really there? It seemed like a century ago. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> Man, that's a crazy story. Okay, we're going to move on to the next story. Um... Oh, I have a note in here that I meant to share with you guys. I was looking at my YouTube data and I realized that 89% of my viewers on YouTube aren't subscribed. What's that about? (laughs) Now we're like really into our first story and I want to remind you guys to subscribe on YouTube if you're a YouTube watcher. 89% of people aren't aren't subscribed? Aggies, literally. Okay. Um, oh, dang, I can't, I'm not logged into this one, so I can't read this story. Oh. Let's see. This one was a good one. Guys, we're going to cut. All right, guys, we're back. I pulled the story up. Um, I found a different story, actually. So this one seems interesting. This was written six years ago. And this person says, the most unsettling incident in my life, well, one of them, could be during family dinner when I was about eight years old. My mom suddenly came out with, quote, it took me months to get your father's blood stains out of the wall. The smell of his body was terrible and really clung to, quote, and then gazed off into the distance, utterly unaware of how shocking and unconducive to eating such a remark would be my dad committed suicide not long after they split up he did it in the kitchen of our house while we were staying at grandma and grandpa's house someone presumably presumably my dad also turned the thermostat up to the max before he died he wasn't found for several weeks either so yeah i can imagine it was quite a horrific scene my impression was that my mom was psychologically damaged by going through that and as a result she lost any sense of what was appropriate to share with the child or not Sometimes I do wonder if he was murdered and that's why the thermostat was cranked to the max. And also no one bothered to check on the man who was known to be suicidal and alone in the house, not going to work and failing to show up to his psych appointments for three weeks. At the least, it was neglectful. Sometimes it's hard hugging my mom when I have suspicions that she had a greater role in my dad's death than she will ever admit to. I know how clever and scheming she can be but I will never know for sure. And I know how hurtful and angry I get when someone else thinks they know that I'm guilty of something I, and I know I'm in, innocent. So I try to keep it buried. Sorry, I'm not reading that well, guys. What the freak? So she think her mom 
killed her dad. That's just like, I don't even know how to feel. I wouldn't even know how to feel if I was in that situation. Like, to be that paranoid that you're like, Loki, my mom could have killed my dad. I mean, yeah, because she came out and said, what was on the wall? Dude, they're in the middle of dinner. She just suddenly looked off at the wall and said, it took me months to get your father's bloodstains out of the wall. And the smell of his body was terrible. And then gazed off into the distance. Did she just... And that was a confession, wasn't it? I mean, he killed himself in their house. Was she so already, somebody had to oh, clean the blood stains. Oh, okay. So she's saying, like, after he killed himself, she had to clean the blood stains, and the smell of his body was terrible. But then the way she just said it randomly and then gazed off... It was kind of crazy. Right, especially given that she just said that, and, like, this person was a kid at the time... Right. And they were eating dinner. Like, how did she just disassociate during dinner and just said that in front of her kid? Like, the kid wasn't supposed to think anything. Right. And it's like, that does suck. Like, they said that the dad was known to be suicidal and had missed his psych appointments for three weeks. Mm-hmm. And no one checked on him. Mm. What the heck? So, I don't know. But then the fact that this person's also saying that her mom can be clever and scheming. <laughs> um, that's concerning. That's extreme. Literally. Any other thoughts about that crazy story? I mean, if I was that, what was it, a girl? I don't know. I can't really tell. I'll run. Run. <laughs> run. Run. Because you're next. <laughs> Shoot. You, she she killed her baby daddy. She don't got nothing to live for. Ooh. Ooh. What's going on with this story? We live in the UK in a house roughly 100 years of age. We've been in the house for a couple years when we were visited by my aunt who brought a friend with her. The friend, Cindy, was known for psychic ability. I don't really believe in that, but was happy to be entertained by her stories. She told us that we had a presence in the house, a woman called Mary. She even told us what she looked like. Mary had once lived in the house and still felt like it was hers. I'd owned a very nice wristwatch for several years and it had an analog face, but also had a small digital panel for setting alarms, stop watching and timer. Anyway, a year or two after we've been told that Mary was living in our house, my watch goes missing. It had been gone for weeks. I looked all over the house. It was a Sunday afternoon. I was in the bedroom and fed up with the search. I said out loud, Mary, can you please find my watch? The next morning, just before our radio alarm went off at 6.30, my husband lifted his head and said, I can hear your watch alarm. And by then, so could I. We followed the sound to a drawer and found the watch beeping away in the pocket of a pair of shorts. Obviously, I'd put the shorts away at the end of the, a warm day. And overnight, the weather broke, taking us into autumn and the shorts were no longer appropriate. I immediately examined the watch as I couldn't believe it had been going off unheard every day, feet from my bed. I was right. Not only was the alarm function not set, if it had been set, it would have beeped at 3 p.m., the last occasion that had been used. However you look at this, there is absolutely no rational explanation. It's been about 15 years now. I've told many people about it and no one can offer any other suggestion other than a supernatural one. There have been a couple of other incidents in this house, nothing as extraordinary, but we just put it down to Mary looking out for us. Hmm. There's some wicked stories. Right. What the freak? Yeah, see, that's the the territory that I don't mess with. Mm -hmm. If somebody came in my house and said that there was a spirit living in there, I would never be like, Mary, you would never. I'd be like, okay. I would literally (laughs) control all delete my mind (laughs) and pretend like I didn't even hear them say that. If if it went yet, were to... Missy Elliott. <laughs> yeah, you definitely would be like, oh, really? Zillow. <laughs> Zillow? Put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> reverse and pretend like she didn't say that to me. <laughs> oh, my God. W- wouldn't you feel the same way? Like, I don't, I wouldn't acknowledge that. I'm like, lady, lady, please. That's just, I don't know, man. You, you never know people's true intentions. Right. What if you brought Mary with you? Are you just saying something? 
Mary could have not already been here. You could have brought Mary with you to my cribbo. Yeah. That's just like we was watching Honey Mansion. And like, the ghost would travel everywhere with them and tell them to come back. Right. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. Return. Yeah. Like, Ooh. Ooh, literally. If you guys have it by now. Oh, that's a spoiler. Sorry. Yeah, watch Haunted Mansion. Another spoiler that I liked about the new Haunted Mansion movie. They literally freaking, uh, what they say? They they compared their ghosts to bed bugs. You remember they said that? Yeah, that was kind of crazy. I was um, like, okay. Like, who, who came up with that line? So they just own you everywhere you go. Like, <laughs> that's traumatic. <laughs> Literally, that's like double trauma. I'd be like, I wouldn't feel any better if that lady had said that. But there was a scene where the priest was like, all right, how about we just, you know, do a little pr- prayer to try to cleanse the energy? And he's like, God, give us a break. <laughs> it's not like we want to be haunted. There's so many bad people in the world. Haunt them. <laughs> <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram at a little bit a lot podcast, I did share that like snippet when I was watching it the other night. Oh my God, that was so funny to me. I like, feel like everybody had a moment like that, like one time. Like, come on, Lord. Literally. Do it for me one more time. <laughs> Just do it one more time. This is going to be my last time. No, seriously. <laughs> no, for real, man. Because there's like, anytime you're going through something, I literally feel that same way. Or I'm just like, there's so many more awful people that mm. deserve this. Put this energy on them, not me. Oh my God, that's so funny. Okay, well, that's enough for the swiggy stories. We shared a couple. And now we're moving on to another segment that I thought would be kind of fun to do which is a Would You Rather Halloween edition. Spooky. Spooky. All right. We've only got like four questions here. Super simple and quick, but let's do the dang thing. Let's do it, guys. All right. The first question says, would you rather walk through a graveyard at midnight or spend a night in a spooky abandoned old house? Okay, it says spend a night in a spooky house. Right. And then it said run through a graveyard at night. It says, would you rather, yeah, walk through a graveyard at midnight uh-huh. or spend a night in a spooky abandoned old house? I'm going through the graveyard for real. Why? Cause I'll just go to the graveyard. <laughs> I ain't finna spend a night in no. <laughs> you said a hunted. Why? <laughs> You said a haunted house? Abandoned house? It's a spooky abandoned old house. Oh, cool. It's because it don't say how long you gotta walk, right? Right. You just walk through at midnight. So I don't know if it's like when the hour's over. Yeah. I walk through the graveyard. I feel the same way. I would literally do graveyard at midnight. I just wanted to know like why you chose the answer you chose. Well... Because, like, who the frick wants to young. spend the night at the spooky... Right. Where it's, like, a walkthrough. It's, like... Who house is it? Literally. Do and they... it's not saying that the graveyard is haunted, necessarily. It's right. just saying that it's a graveyard. Right. Which is, like, that's scary in itself. Right. But to say that you know her fact that the abandoned hold house is spooky, though... Right. Couldn't do it. But like you gotta just... And you gotta stay there. Right. Where it's, like... I'm gonna walk through the graveyard, back to my car. Because imagine they were like at midnight. I'd be like, it's midnight, minute from mm-hmm. like midnight to twelve oh one. You could lucky do a circle and just go back. Right. To- <laughs> <laughs> I would finesse that. I'd be like, you said midnight, and I did do that. It was a minute. Midnight is twelve o'clock. So from twelve <laughs> semicolon o o to twelve semicolon o one, I did what needed to be done. <laughs> And as you pull off, roll down the window. Thanks. <laughs> and then drive away. I imagine there's like a cash prize. Like, well, folks, we just got the nest. <laughs> Kristen and Juwan. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to spend the night in a spooky at the house. Crazy. Yes. Okay, question number two says, would you rather spend Halloween night at a haunted house or spend the night 
at a cemetery? This is basically the same question. But crazier. The saying spend the night rather than walk through. I didn't realize that when I added it. But crazier. Yeah. Spend Halloween night not at a haunted, haunted house. And now they're saying it's actually haunted. And on top of that, it's Halloween night. The other one wasn't a specific day. Yeah. But it's Halloween night. So you know the paranormal activity might be a little more raised up that day. So it said spend a night at a cemetery. Yeah, spend the night at a cemetery on ha- Halloween night or at a haunted house. I can't believe I'm finna say this, guys. <laughs> I'm going to the graveyard. <laughs> at least we got the, the whole world. And one thing about Juan, he watches a lot of like camper, um, <laughs> hiking, survival YouTubers. Yes. So I would trust that he would, you know, keep us safe outdoors on Halloween night in the cemetery. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to go with you on that one. Shout out, uh, Outdoor Boys, Luke. Yeah, that's the YouTube that's channel guy. that he watches. <laughs> outdoor guy. Boys every Saturday. That's my guy. He gets his McDonald's breakfast. He goes in the living room and he watches Luke. And he's with the guys. <laughs> uh, it's cute. Yeah, okay. Luke, no, I'm there every Saturday morning. Period. Period. Just like I'm there for you every Friday. Oh. Put your bells on, notification bells on. Oh my God. Subscribe. Sweetie. Yeah. Hey, you, you might want to turn you like. You might want to turn those post notification bell on, yeah. So my weekend lit every time Friday, Saturday. Mm-hmm. It's, it's time. Yes, I I agree with you on that one, babes. Like, we definitely are gonna have to spend the night at the cemetery. Okay, question number three: Would you rather be a ghost or a zombie? I'm gonna answer first. I personally would rather be a ghost. I thought about this question for a little bit, and it was just like, as much as being a zombie seems cool, I just feel like ghost is more eternal because like depending on what type of lore you're into where it's like in haunted mansion like there's some point where you could eventually pass over and not come back but let's say we're in a reality where that isn't the case and you can be like eternal i would hope that that would be the moment and it's like ghost just seems better like you're kind of you know more coherent you know what's going on where it's like and plus you know i don't really recall like zombie i mean ghost lore like requiring too much as far as like nutrients zombies need brains they're kind of depending on which lore you're in if it's a fast zombie is it a slow zombie what kind of zombie we're talking it just seems like better of a decision for me to want to be a ghost like i just feel like with zombie it's just it just there's too many factors you know what i never thought about what I'm high, but I'm going I'm to say this anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies, right? Yeah. Like apocalypse. Apocalypse. Like, zombies are the ones that bite you and turn you into another zombie, right? Yeah, depending on what. That's why it's like, it's so. But we cool. never call them zombies. Am I tripping? What we always. What, what the world call them? Daywalker? I mean, uh. What are they? What it has always been zombies? <laughs> Am I tripping? I feel like like every, okay, okay. For example, World War Z, they called them zombies, didn't they? World World zombies. Okay, like that. I feel like every media we watch has called it a zombie. A zombie apocalypse. Yeah, but it seemed like they never call it that though. Like. Like that movie with Will Smith when he, when he, his dog died. Did the dog die? Yeah. I don't remember that. And that was I a sad I swear scene. he had that dog to the end. R.P. What, what was that movie? I want to say it's... Uh, I could have swore man. Will had that zombie to the end. I mean, that y'all, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Y'all yeah, tell us what movie that is, but that was that was a it's good not Hancock, movie. right? No, 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 no. He was a superhero. This movie, oh, it, yeah. was, it was a popular, but I don't think he was. I don't think there was zombies in that movie. It was something else. In Living and Walking Dead, don't they call them zombies? 
okay, that I might be tripping then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. And then it's just like, then there's so many different things where it's like, some apocalypses, zombies start from like, it's an airborne thing where the minute you die, you instantly turn into a zombie. Mm-hmm. Where there's some where you have to be bitten. Mm-hmm. But either way, I just don't see zombie life being like a life that I would want. I think I'd much rather be a ghost. Like, right. you have to have too much to survive as a zombie. But there's, it's been proven that zombies can uh, have an afterlife, though. Like, a normal life. Like that one movie, right? Warm bodies. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I would just have to ask, like, what kind of reality? What are the conditions? Because there's so many different zombie apocalypses where zombies can revert. You're right. They can, they can revert and get back to humanity. I've never really seen with ghosts. Is it Casper? Does he become a real boy? Didn't he become a real boy for like five minutes? Like five <laughs> oh, so it wasn't fully to the end. It wasn't like a full transformation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's a tricky. What, what did you say your answer? Zombie or ghost? I'm like in Shaun of the Dead. I don't know if y'all watched that. That came out like in. I don't know, 09 or something. Shoot, his best friend t- got turned to a zombie. And shoot, he made sure he ate meat. And Dog had a little bit of his mind. And he would just play the game and try to eat him on the low. But he had his neck chained up. So he was just chilling. I'm just saying, like, if you on some, I want to live forever, you might want to pick a zombie, you know. But me personally, I'm a ghost for my bag. Ghost bag. <laughs> that was mentioned in Haunted Mansion too. That was really funny. <laughs> right. He's like so, ghost bay. Can I talk to you, babe? <laughs> I yeah. would try I would do that too. If there was a <laughs> I would ghost bay my way out of anything. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yeah. Do you wanna be my lover so I can stay alive? <laughs> I would do what I have to do for a ghost. <laughs> And I choose That's a ration with a ghost. Yeah, I choose ghosts. Similar to her answer as well. You know, it's all about uh, elevation. You know, you want to get to that next. Next what? <laughs> transcend. <laughs> I want to uh, transcend time. <laughs> I think maybe that's what you're trying to say. You're going to get to that, to, to that next boat <laughs> and see if you float. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Last question says, would you rather get attacked by a giant spider or a spooky skeleton? Um, My answer is spooky skeleton. Spooky, skeleton. scary skeleton. Skeleton. <laughs> Are you serious right now? A giant spider is so disgusting. Oh, I'm literally man. throwing up at the idea of it right now. Mm. Are you serious? Mm-mm. A freaking giant that? spider <laughs> is the reason why I hate spiders. Because that movie, the freaking spiders, I know you never saw it. but Oh, of course. I, I didn't saw it. They came out with like four versions of it. <laughs> like, That's the Giant spiders going crazy. Like, disgusting and that oh my god killing people with their freaking feet and man what yeah a multi-leg moment you're That's never crazy. gonna i don't know your odds you could win that i'm not gonna say you never gonna win you could against but it's like you got way more legs to deal with you have way more legs to work against and the odds will i want the odds to be a little bit more in my favor so if i had to choose skeleton yeah. Cause I grab them bones. <laughs> <laughs> I hit over a car. Like you can't really hit a spider. It could jump, land back on its feet, then wrap you up in the car. And now you trapped. Oh my god! So much. Imagine like, that. That's like worse. You set yourself so up if you try to get in the car. You're being attacked by a giant know, spider. They're like, spiders. oh, we got you. I got you in an enclosure. And they Even see better. You. They got a thousand eyes. Oh, they see you. This is really becoming like a literal nightmare right now. (laughs) I don't even think about that. Yes. They see you. You ain't going nowhere. But imagine the skeleton like has like super strength. I don't know. I'm still going to take my chances. 
Does, does, is this, is that a giant skeleton? Yeah, let's see. I don't care what it is. He getting hit by a car. Yeah, it says a giant spider Achilles. or a spooky skeleton. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're breaking his Achilles. Yeah, he it doesn't walk. really matter if it's spooky. Like, he we walk. still gonna. Baseball bat. <laughs> now he don't got no freaking stomach. Right. Something. <laughs> There's just so many things that you could do, like, to attack a spooky skeleton. I just feel like, in general, your odds are better than giant spider ever would be. For sure. Oh my god. No, like you really got the detail that you put into the description of the spider is like kind of triggering. Yeah. Like, because that's how the movie was. Like, yes. Oh my god, that sounds awful. Man, I think the oxygen in the air was like triple time or something and like Freaking spiders ruled the world. Like it was crazy. Ew. It was crazy. Okay, well, we're gonna end this off with, of course, our favorite segment, favorite thing of the week. <laughs> favorite thing of the week. <laughs> um, I literally didn't even prepare my favorite thing of the week this week. I forgot. Mm. Well, I guess I will take this one over. My favorite thing of the week is Tech. Lil Tecca. Oh my god. The album. Oh my god, what happened to Virgil? The album. Go get that. You know, I think we may surpass Ransom. I don't know if you were I got like, that. I got like, what you want. I was like, I go say hi to the fan on. And I was like, I got like, what you want. <laughs> she she, she, she going to put that in, in her playlist. So Oh, yeah, guys. I don't even think I even that. talked about it on the pod. I did start the favorite, favorite song of the week playlist. You can find it on the YouTube, the Little Bit A Lot YouTube page under playlists. And it's going to feature like songs that me or guests um, have mentioned in episodes or just songs that in general that I just like and that I feel like adding to it. So that's been up for a while. I think it's got about like 30 songs in there and I'll just continuously be adding it. And if you guys like have any like song recommendations, songs that you want me to check out, leave it in the comments below or in a review so that way I can see it. So, yeah, I'll have to add some Tekka. That's a vibe. Yeah, Lil Tekka. We love you, Tekka. Yeah, I I have been kind of enjoying it. I mean, with, with Juwan, it's kind of like an overload. You know, I've come to realize since living together, like, he's going to listen to it over and over and over again. That's my guy. But I guess I could say the same thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hard because we both do the same thing right we yeah. both literally do the same thing but yeah. i feel like mine is usually kind of like in my airpods and yours is blasting on the tv right because that that makes me think about my favorite thing now that you say that which mm. is drake rich baby daddy <laughs> that if you could say anything about this week, that has been this week's theme. Yeah, and that she has played been... that over and over and over and over. Oh my god! Yes. Have you guys? If you guys follow me on TikTok at a little bit a lot pod, I did a little dance to it. Yes. Rich baby daddy gang. <laughs> oh my god, SZA. A on that song. I don't really like the other SZA song. Yeah, That's on that yeah, album, yeah. Slime You Out or whatever the heck. Right. But this song, Red Baby Daddy with SZA and Sexy Red. Oh my God. It's just something about the beat. Like, hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. It eats. Yeah. So I, I would say that's my favorite thing of the week. But yes, so that brings us to the end of this episode. Just a quick, cute little moment going over the spooky stories, doing the Halloween Would You Rather. Honestly, I feel like this is a great introduction to what could be a little bit a lot Halloween. Yeah. You know, like next year, I want to go even bigger. I want to be able to have like 
a set moment, right? Like I want to be able to have decoration for real, for real, oh. and like have like an even more elevated like Halloween costume. Yeah. But this was a good a good first like attempt. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think of our outfits. I'm going to be posting content with my Rosalie outfit on, of course. Juwan's got his Woody situation going on. Tonight we're going to a Halloween stroll. And we're going to see all the spooky decorations and stuff like that. Hopefully this weekend or next weekend go to a haunted car wash. My coworker was like, I'm living through you, girl. Your weekends have been filled with spooky happenings. And I'm like, you know <laughs> it. I'm a spooky queen. I love the spooky season. Yes. So we're running it up and we're enjoying this fall weather. She even watching scary movies, guys. Oh my God, guys. Yes, I have been watching scary movies. Wow. I watched uh, Devil's Do with my sister. That was crazy. We watched Slender Man. Uh, we watched... Uh, What's the name of that? The Black Knee. That the was really Black funny. Knee. And like I said, Haunted Mansion, which wasn't, you know, really scary at all. But yeah, so like I really am expanding. I really am growing. I really am conquering my fears when it comes to like, you know, the spooky stuff and like wanting to go to haunted houses and like just really being like, I want to enjoy it. And I don't have to be so scared. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's like making Halloween even more fun. Right. Like I'm just really proud of me. And I know you're proud of me too. Yes, but I, I don't think we'll ever. There's, there's no need to watch hardcore horror. Yeah, like we yeah. go watch funny, nice stuff. That's all I ever recommend. You know. Right. I don't want anything that's gonna literally scar me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like the black thing was funny, but you know had a little suspense, but not really. Like I feel like you watching paranormal activity. Like that's crazy. I wouldn't yeah. even recommend that to you you know right but i'd already seen the first paranormal activity with my dad so right it's not like it was something new for me um and they it seems like they kind of just get worse mm -hmm. so yeah and that's what i've kind of found out is that now that i've been conquering my fear with um honey haunted films like scary horror i'm like it's kind of funny actually it's not even really that scary so <laughs> Yes, guys. Well, thank you for joining me for the A Little Bit A Lot podcast Halloween episode 2K23. I'm your host, Kristen. Like I said, Juwan, we're here for you. Let me know what you think. And like I said at the top of the episode, make sure you give this video a like on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, rate that five stars, write that review. And if you're listening on Spotify, I appreciate you. Go ahead and follow the podcast and rate that five stars. So again, thanks for joining us and we will see you next week. Bye.